What's going on guys? So today we're going to be editing some street photography. These photos were shot with the 85mm 1.8 from Sony. If you want to get the lens that I use for this video, the link's in the description, along with all the other equipment that I use. So the first photo here is a photo on Flinders Street. We always start off by cropping it in a 4x5 and adjusting it to make sure that the horizon is level. Close it there. Now you'll notice that it's a very warm yellow sort of tone and I want to make it a cooler image. So we're going to fix the color temperature just here and lower it down to around 3200 and the purple is plus four. Now we're going to up the exposure, increase the whites, lower the shadows, add in some contrast, we'll go around 18, lower the blacks a bit, up the clarity to about 40. You'll notice that the ground is a lot brighter than the rest of the image. So I'm gonna use a graduated filter, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna drag that across the ground. It'll already increase the exposure to plus one. So I'm gonna double tap exposure and it'll reset it to normal. And I'm gonna decrease the highlights and the exposure of the ground. Add in a little bit of clarity, up the whites a little bit. Now that that's done, we're gonna click close and then we're gonna increase the exposure a little bit again. Now you'll notice here that the tram here is actually out of focus. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use something called a radial filter. And I'm just going to drag a radial filter so that it covers the tram just here. And then because the radial filter affects everything outside of it, what we have to do is we've got to click invert just here and that'll flip it. So now it'll affect what's on the inside the radial filter. Now I'm going to increase the sharpness, up the clarity, Decrease the highlights a little bit because that'll decrease the exposure of the two headlights. Up the contrast a bit and decrease the blacks. Now that's my first photo done. Let's move on to the second photo. So this is a nice photo of Flinders Street Station. Start off by cropping it in 4x5 and then we'll quick close. We've got to decrease the color temperature because it's really yellow and orange. And now increase the exposure. We're going to increase the contrast as well, up the clarity. We're going to decrease the highlights a bit. We're going to decrease the shadows and increase the whites. And I'm going to decrease the blacks. I'm going to use the graduated filter just on the bottom of the image. Click the graduated filter and then I'm going to drag it over the ground. Double click exposure so it goes back to normal. And I'm going to decrease the highlights and the exposure as well. And then I'm going to add some clarity in. Increase the whites a little bit and add some contrast in. Now we're going to click close at the bottom of the graduated filter option. Because we decrease the exposure under the graduated filter, now we can just increase the normal exposure back to normal. Down to the HSL sliders, and then I'm going to increase the luminance of the oranges a little bit and the yellows. And I'm going to add a hue into the yellows to make them a bit more orange. Same with the oranges as well. I'm going to do a similar thing with the aquas. I'm going to make them a little more blue. And then we're going to go back to the luminance and increase the luminance of the greens. Always start off by cropping in 4x5. And we're going to click close here. Same thing with the color temperature. We'll go around 3800 and we might add some purples into the image. Then we'll up the exposure, decrease the highlights and the shadows, up the whites a little and decrease the blacks a bit. I always add a bit of clarity into my street photos because it makes them stand out. Because the tram here, I want this to be the focus of the image. I'm going to use a radio filter here. So I click the radio filter and then drag from the middle of the tram until you reach the outside. Now we'll double click exposure and then we're going to decrease the highlights and the exposure of the rest of the image while we leave the tram at the exact same exposure. We're going to increase the clarity a little bit here too. Then we'll click close. We're going to increase the normal exposure of the image and add some contrasting as well. And then I'm also going to add a graduated filter to the ground just so I can make adjustments just to the ground. I'm going to decrease the highlights and the shadows a little bit, decrease the exposure, and then we'll click close. Now all the basic adjustments are done. We're going to go down to the HSL slider. I'm going to decrease the saturation of the yellows here and the greens. I'm going to go to hue and then I'm going to make the yellows a bit more orange. I'm going to hue the reds so they turn into more of a vibrant sort of pink color. Same with the oranges. I'm also going to increase the saturations a little bit of the red. You've got a person and you've also got the traffic light here which is a lot brighter than the rest of the image. 
gonna make it a cool tone. 4,200, and then the purples will be plus four. Then I'm gonna increase the exposure and the contrast, as well as the clarity. Then I'm gonna decrease the highlights and the shadows a bit, and increase the whites. For this photo, I want the person in the image to stand out a lot more than I want the background to. So I'm gonna use a radial filter to make this happen. I'm gonna click and drag the radial filter over the person. I'm gonna reset the exposure, and then I'm gonna press invert so that the radio filter only affects the person in the image. Now I'm going to increase the exposure and the highlights and add a bit of contrast in. Now you can scale this to basically any size you want and if you go just to the right of the radio filter you can also rotate it as well. I'm going to increase the clarity a bit and I'm going to click close. Now I'm going to affect the colors so I want to do the hue saturation luminous sliders now. So I'm going to go over to saturation and I'm going to get rid of the green colors. Then I'm going to go to hue, hue the aquas to make them a little bit more blue and I'm going to increase the luminance of the blues as well and the aquas. So the next photo we've got here is of a cyclist riding through Melbourne Central. Always start off by cropping it. Click close. Now we're going to increase the exposure so we can see what we're working with here. Now when we zoom in using Command Plus, you'll see that the light that the cyclist has on his bike is really bright. So we're going to decrease the highlights and we're going to zoom back out and we're going to fix the color temperature as well. We're going to make it around 4024 and we're going to increase the purples a little bit because we got purple and pink just on the ground here from the light that was up at the top of the image as a reflection. We're going to up the contrast decrease the shadows and then increase the blacks. I'm also going to up the whites to around 24. Now we're going to use a graduated filter just on the ground here. So I'm going to click graduated filter and I'm going to just add one just to the ground. I'm going to reset the exposure here and then we're going to decrease the highlights and the normal exposure of the ground. There we go, that's looking pretty good. And now we'll just click close. Now that the exposure is pretty much even throughout the image, we're going to increase the normal exposure so we get it up to a good brightness and we're going to add some clarity in. This is a Melbourne City car shot at one of the traffic lights. I'm going to start off by, of course, cropping it. The reason we do this is so that it looks best for Instagram and click close. And then, of course, fix the color temperature around 3400. The ground is really overexposed because of the reflection of the lights on the cars. So we're going to decrease the highlights to fix it as much as we can without using any other filters and decrease the exposure a little bit. Now we're going to decrease the shadows, up the whites and decrease the blacks a bit. Then of course add some clarity into the image and now we'll start off with our graduated filter to fix the ground. So click it and drag it just over the ground. Then we'll reset the exposure by double clicking it and then decrease the highlights and the exposure of the ground as well. And now we can up the exposure again so that it's nice and even. It's looking pretty good so far. Now we're going to go down to the HSL slider, so the hue, saturation, and luminance. We're going to go to saturation, decrease the saturation of the yellows and the greens, and also the aquas as well, and the blues a little bit. And we're going to go to luminance and then increase the luminance of the blues and the aquas. So we're going to go to the hue tab and we're going to make the blues look a bit more teal. Another trend in Melbourne Central, start off with the basics. So four by five for Instagram, decrease the color temp. Decreasing the highlights will of course fix the headlights here and also this here. So we'll do that straight away. And we're gonna increase the general exposure of the image, add in some contrast, plus 12, decrease the shadows a bit, increase the whites, and also I might increase the blacks for this one. I'm gonna add a radio filter over the tram, so click on the radio filter, and I'm just gonna drag it over the tram. There we go, now we'll double click it, and I'm gonna click invert, so now we can affect only the area of the tram and the reflection. Increase the clarity here, then I'm gonna decrease the highlights a bit more, and then increase the contrast. Now we're going to zoom back out using Command minus, and then we'll just click close. The issue I'm seeing here is that the tram colors are all yellow, and I want to make it look a bit nicer than that. So I'm going to go down to the HSL slider and go to Hue, 
and then make the yellows look more orange, make the oranges look more red, and then the reds look a bit more vibrant or more like a pink color. Then we're just gonna go to saturation and increase the saturation of the reds and the oranges. And go to luminance, increase the luminance of the oranges and the reds, and also the yellows as well. What I might also do is I'm gonna add a graduated filter just at the bottom here too. I'm just gonna add one there, and then we're going to increase the highlights a little bit and also increase the clarity. Now you can see we haven't put any clarity into the actual image itself, so we're gonna add a bit here. I wanna make the image a bit more blue, so I'm gonna decrease the color temperature a bit more to 3500. Now photo number eight. I shot through one of those, those fences that they use at construction sites, so it's an orange color. Start off by cropping it. And we're gonna decrease the color temp, increase the exposure, decrease the shadows, and the highlights up the whites a bit and then add some clarity in. Now, first thing I wanna do is I wanna go down to the HSL slider and I wanna to go to hue and then hue the yellows and the oranges to make them more red. So that we get the fence to be more of a red color compared to how it was, which was orange. Same with the reds, and that's looking a lot better than it was. Next thing I'm gonna add is a graduated filter just on the bottom here. Reset it, decrease the highlights and the exposure a little bit and then add some clarity in, add some whites in too. You'll see that there's a pattern with my editing. I tend to do similar things. I always start off cropping it and then I adjust the color temperature, then I go to the basic adjustments and eventually I'll go to the HSL tab. So we'll start off with the color temp and plus four. We're gonna decrease the highlights in this image and also decrease the exposure. Because the Sony images have such a good dynamic range, you can basically just decrease the exposure to minus two and it will still maintain all the detail in the image. We're gonna up the shadows a little bit and then add some clarity into the image and a bit of contrast too. We'll up the blacks a bit and then we'll fix the exposure. Now we're gonna add a graduated filter to the bottom, decrease the highlights and the exposure of the ground, add a little bit of clarity and increase the whites a little bit. Now we can click close. What we'll do next is we're gonna add a radio filter to the taxi. So we're gonna click and drag over the taxi. I'm gonna decrease the highlights of everything else apart from the taxi and the exposure as well. Now let's have a look at the last image we've got. The reason I like this image is because you've got the street lights here we got the person in the center of the image. We got a reflection of a sign here. Now we'll start off by fixing the color temperature and increasing the exposure. Now we're gonna add some contrast in. Go plus 16, decrease the highlights, decrease the shadows, add some clarity, up the whites. Now we're gonna go down to the HSL slider, get rid of all those greens and a lot of the yellows as well. We'll go minus 40. Now we're going to add a radial filter just onto the person in the image. So highlight the person, reset it by double clicking, invert it, and then we're gonna increase the exposure a little bit, increase the highlights and the shadows a little bit. Now we'll click close. Next thing we'll do is we'll add a graduated filter to the ground, reset it, minus highlights, add clarity, add whites, and add some shadows in. And then we'll click close again. Those are the basic adjustments. Now we'll go down to the HSL again and we'll go to luminance and then increase the luminance of the blues and the aquas and that'll really make the image pop. We might add saturation to the reds as well and then hue it to make it more of a pink tone. To even everything out, I'm just gonna decrease the exposure a little bit and the shadows. This is my personal style for editing street photography. I don't actually use any presets at the moment. I pretty much just edit from scratch. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay tuned for more photography content and I'll see you guys in the next video.